Months after its original release, Google now offers a cellular version of the Nexus 7. But with increased competition in the small tablet space, is the Nexus 7 still a viable tablet option? Hi, I'm Eric Franklin, and today we'll take yet another first look at the Nexus 7, this time with cellular. The 8GB version of the Nexus 7 has been replaced by the 16GB version for $199. $249 gets you the 32GB version, and for $299, the 32GB version with HSPA Plus, seen here, can be yours. There's still a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera, a micro USB port, headphone jack, volume rocker, power button, speakers, and that grippy textured backside that makes the Nexus 7 oh so comfortable to hold. With the HSPA Plus version, you also get a SIM card slot on the left edge. This version comes unlocked and can be purchased with either an AT&T or T-Mobile SIM card in the US. However, it's up to you to decide on a data plan. Thankfully, there are no mandatory contracts to sign. HSPA Plus is like an Uber 3G or 4G Lite, and the Nexus 7's performance reflects that. Where 4G LTE devices can sometimes rival Wi-Fi networks in speed, downloading a 225 megabyte app took twice as long on the Nexus 7 using HSPA Plus compared to Wi-Fi. Your performance, however, will vary depending on location. All versions of the Nexus 7 now ship with the latest iteration of Jelly Bean, Android 4.2. Android 4.2 brings with it the swipe-like gesture type, a new quicker way to access tablet settings, magnification support, and a built-in interactive screensaver, among others. Look for information on two other features, multi-screen and lock screen customization, in my full written review. Thanks to its low price, comfortable design, and Android 4.2 support, the Nexus 7 is indeed still a viable tablet option, and is currently the cheapest way to get the very best of what Android has to offer. Once again, this is Eric Franklin, and this has been a first look at the Nexus 7.